Hello, Invisible Mental Rig Company here at InvisibleMentalRigs.com. I want to thank those who emailed and, and said how great the mini rig works, and also those who emailed and asked how the mini rig works. First of all, we have three size needles uh, five inch for the large pike minnows, three and a half inch for two and a half, three inch minnows, and a two and a half inch needle, which comes standard with our deluxe trout rig. Deluxe trout rig looks like this it's got uh, prongs on it, it's got uh, standard size uh, double weight, uh, double hook, open shank, eight hook on it. There's two in a pack with a needle. Uh, we also, for bass, sometimes uh, add a size four hook on there. To compare them, here's the different sizes. They're quite a bit different in size. And if you're going after really big fish, you need a, a lot bigger hook. But for 15 to 20 inches, the number eight works fine, except for largemouth. Then you need to size fours or even bigger. Um, here's a tube with a number two inside it. Number two looks like this before it's put in. It's got prongs on it, bead, hook on the end, swivel. And we spread these hooks out the width we want so that they drag in the wall of the tube. But we don't spread it out enough to come through the wall of the tube. And the hook's buried in there. Uh, you might be able to see it there. All practically weedless. Uh, usually any weed you get through the algae is going to be right up here. Uh, I have a smaller tube with a two in it. You can see the hook there. Fish can't see the hook. Then I have the, the large tube with a size four. Then if I'm going for bass, I'd use this tube and uh, trails back there in the skirt. I can even pull it in and stretch it over the the uh, hook if I want to. Here's a minnow threaded. I drew everything inside the mouth. So the trout can't see anything. Buried the hook in the tail. Left one hook out. I could put them both along the tail if I wanted to. Uh, it really doesn't matter. It's whatever you prefer. Also have a little salamander the wall I like. I drew everything inside the salamander's head and uh, buried the hooks. I buried the hooks right behind the the back appendages of a little salamander. It's negative, it bounces, but it doesn't float, and uh, it just bounces along the stream. Fish seem to like that. Well, happy fishing. Thanks a lot.